Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. The race for the GOP presidential nomination now in full gear. Seven candidates have announced, and almost every one of them will be in Iowa next week. The latest Iowa poll shows Florida Governor Ron DeSantis trailing former President Donald Trump by 42 points right now. That poll out of Emerson College. For more, Tudor Dixon rejoins me on set along with former presidential candidate and senator and senior Newsmax political contributor Rick Santorum. Senator, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning to both of you. Happy Friday. Same to you. Happy Memorial Day weekend. What did you make of the announcement? Uh, missed opportunity. Uh, it, it, I don't think there's any way uh, else to dice it. Uh, it was it, it was just not well done. It wasn't well executed. Uh, the speech was flat. It was uh, late. It's, you know, all sorts of problems. Uh, but that doesn't define a candidacy. But it certainly doesn't help. You know, a good launch can be helpful. A bad launch can be very damaging. We'll wait and see. It's going to it's, what follows is is important. Uh, how how well he does in Iowa, how well he connects. The uh, Sanders has a lot of strengths. He has some weaknesses. Uh, his campaign organization looks to be a weakness right now. Uh, his connecting with people is a weakness right now. Uh, can he turn those things around is uh, what I think people are going to start to you know are going to be looking at. Uh, who are watching this race. Yeah, and I, you know, what I do like about DeSantis is that he's got a healthy disdain for the media, but every interview that he's done, including last night, 20 minutes here on Newsmax, he's sort of back on his heels already. Can he recover? Uh, obviously, obviously. Uh, failed announcements aren't that big a deal, uh, but it does put you in a position to where you have to, you're asked questions about the failed announcement. Um, Tudor, let's go to the polls right now. According to Politico, the DeSantis team says that Trump, his lead is basically a polling sugar high because he's been the lead dog in the race for a long time. Do you think there's something to that? Do you think these numbers might tighten a little bit as we head into the summer? Well, I mean, as we look at polling, we have questioned polling for years, right? Since 2016, people started to say, are these polls actually accurate? Now, I would say that there is cause for concern from the DeSantis camp when you see that big of a gap. But it is early. I mean, he he really wasn't in the race officially until a couple of days ago. Now, we all knew he really was in the race. So because there was that knowledge that people were pushing him into the race, it's questionable as to whether or not he can make up that ground. But as we've said, there's a lot of time. We have to see him interact with people. We have to see his personality come out. And really, it's going to be he and Casey out on the trail need to connect with people. And that's what people are looking for that they haven't seen from Ron DeSantis. Let me play you this soundbite. This is DeSantis was asked last night by Eric Bowling how what role his wife basically will play in the campaign. Take a listen. Is she ready for this? The wild ride that's about to start or starting? She is. I think it makes her stronger because I think, you know, you have a chance to look, OK, you're either going to let the bastards grind you down or you're not. And we've just had too many things um, in this country. People have sacrificed over the years in military service, have given their lives so that we could have a free society. If we're going to cower in the face of newspapers and blogs attacking us, then, man, we're not really doing very much to, to keep this country going. So uh, it's our obligation to be out there. We want to take the fire so that our constituents don't have to. You know, I did it a lot during COVID. I do it, you know, every day now. Um, and she's of the same mindset. She's a remarkably strong woman, and I'm, I'm very proud of her, and I love her very much. Uh, Senator, your response, reaction? It seems like from from just listening to a lot of the responses from DeSantis, he has he has one track, which is a you know a tough confrontational, uh, go after the media, you know, and us versus them, and it's it's very similar to Donald Trump. I mean, that's the way Trump would have uh, in very very much the same style. Trump would have answered that question. The question is 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 that. Is that what he wants to do? Is he want to just be Trump? But I'm 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 better. I'm I actually can get things done. I'm not as controversial. Uh, or do you want to change it up a little bit? I, I think one of the things, and you know, Tudor talked about connecting too. I think that's a real big issue. I'm not sure that connects really that well. I, I, I would really strongly recommend some humor, some self-deprecating humor in particular. Yeah. Look, if you've got a weakness, if you got a problem connecting with people, make fun of it. You know, it's just say, you know, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not a perfect guy. I mean, instead of sort of, you know, just sort of being combative and trying to say, you know, well, these are bad guys and I'm a good guy and I'm and I'm fighting and, and against bad guys. Again, that's a Trump. That's a Trump motif. 
Not sure that it's the right one for him at this point. Such a good point. If he ignored, he didn't say anything about the glitches really when the glitches were happening. And I thought that was the perfect tutor. We were talking about this. Um, that was the perfect opportunity for maybe a little levity, uh, maybe a joke. Maybe some yeah. self-deprecation. Tudor Dixon, 15 seconds, final thought. We want to see him be fun. We want to be him, see him be soft when it comes to his wife and to raise her up. And again, that combative mode was really the wrong thing in that moment. But we'll see. He's learning. It's the beginning. He has to go nationwide. We'll see how it goes. And everybody's in Iowa on Tuesday. Senator, have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy the holiday. Look forward to seeing you right back here uh, next week. Appreciate it. Uh, Tudor Dixon.